Hello everybody, I have promised you some new type of content, so this is one of the first videos with this kind of a <laughs> different content. As you can see, this is a piece of software called Stage 9 version 009. If you don't know what this thing is, um, it's basically a virtual recreation of the USS Enterprise D. And I am going to spend a couple of videos having a bit of fun with this one. Now I have to warn you that I have a slightly older graphic card, a 5 year old graphic card, so even though this uh, game uh, is supposed to be able to run on 4K, I am very happy when I <laughs> can uh, run it in 1080p and with a pretty low frame rate. So I have to warn you, you will see some pretty serious lagging in some parts of these videos. But it's because of my crappy graphic card plus the fact that I am actually recording this. This is the wonderful intro sequence which serves as a kind uh, of an opening credit sequence. I must admit the model is absolutely beautiful. Stage 9 Virtual Enterprise D Recreation. I will drop some links uh, to the video description if you will uh, plan to check this out. These guys have their own uh, YouTube channel and of course a uh, website. Okay, that was the intro sequence, so let's start the actual game. I'm not really sure if I can call it a game, because it's... Yeah, they call it also a game, so... Now, by default, in version 9, starting with version 8, uh, you start in third-person mode. I usually switch immediately to first-person mode. You start in the turbo lift, and you can go here to the bridge of the Enterprise D. You can see these wonderfully animated L cars displays. Now when I'm in the first person mode you can see my hands. And you can do some nasty stuff like firing. A photon torpedo. Bye bye space station or whatever this thing was. This one looks like Mr. Data. And it's probably supposed to be Mr. Data. So, where can we go? And this is the first of many, 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 many problems which were introduced since version 008. As you can see, the camera can go behind the wall and you can see through the wall, pretty often, and you can actually fall out of the ship. In many cases, which I think is a very serious problem, and I hope they will solve it as soon as possible. There's nothing here, so... Here you can see the models of the previous Enterprise ships, and observation launch and you can see a serious drop of frame rate which is unfortunately pretty common so we have here a little phaser does it work oh it does work okay well i have done nothing I have no clue why is the guy just lying there. So, get out quickly. 
before anybody comes. So that was the observation launch. Where can we go now? This is a turbo lift. And the captain's ready room. Now you can see this NPC also looks like uh, Captain Picard. And we have a functioning trike order, or kind of functioning. It does actually nothing, but it's kind of uh, nice to see that you can interact with some of the objects in some of the rooms. And you can't go there yet. Now, the fish tank with... What's his name? I can't remember the fish name. But you can see it's not clearly finished yet. Picard ignores me. That's not nice from him. I can steal his coffee. But I can't really drink it or anything like that. And the liquid doesn't spill out. Hmm, why is there red alert? Like somebody committed some crime or something? Well, thanks to the menu we can switch to different versions of the bridge of the USS Enterprise D. This is the Season 1 bridge and you can see that it looks kind of different. More primitive, I would say. Ah, you can see still bits of the space station. Interesting. But you unfortunately can't go anywhere. It's not connected to any other rooms. These panels are also quite different. And I think also this dedication plaque is different. But you can see some... It looks like a turbo lift there, but you can't go there. You can't go anywhere from here, so the only way how to get out is using the menu. Can I sit? No, I can't. Funny. Hmm, I can't sit anywhere. Okay. Not good. <laughs> so let's jump to the Yesterday's Enterprise Bridge, which was seen only in one episode. Yesterday's Enterprise, if you didn't guess it. And again, you can see the bridge was redesigned. It looks a bit more militaristic. And again, this room is not connected to anything, so you can't go out. Hi, Captain. And I can sit in these chairs. Funny that I can't sit on the Season 1 bridge chairs. I can see different monitors instead of the wooden panels. So now let's try the all the good things bridge from the future version of the USS Enterprise, D. Again, a lot of small changes. The panels are clearly different, just like the doors. And you can see the common problem, the camera can go out. 
which again is a problem which was introduced in version 008. It was perfectly working before. You can sit here, okay. And you can see on the captain's chair. Good. So, can I do something else? No, I can't. So, we have the bridge from Star Trek Generations. They have again done some modifications for the first movie, which was the last time we have actually seen the USS Enterprise D. Oh, a chair, that's nice. Funny that uh, they didn't think about giving the, the officer a chair in the TV show. You can still see the parts of the station, that's interesting. So, let's go back to the normal Season 2 Bridge of the Enterprise. Hello. He ignores me, it would be fun if um, I could interact with these guys. can sit on basically any chair, but the animation it looks pretty ugly. <laughs> and you can sit inside of a Starfleet officer, that's interesting. And here on this console you can select one of the three warp speeds and this is an interesting thing, you should see the streaking stars, because we are in warp, and sometimes they do start, sometimes they don't, and I have no clue why. But this is definitely a bug, you should see the streaking stars. We have finally landed to you probably know what this thing is. It's of course Teroknor, also known as Deep Space Nine. Another wonderful model by these guys. I mean you guys are doing a fantastic job if somebody of the team is watching this video. I mean, I'm actually seriously considering buying new hardware just for being able to uh, play this in full details. The phaser has a pretty serious aiming problem. You can see the red dot, that's uh, where my cursor is, but the phaser actually shoots Kind of different. Oh, wow, 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 wow. Poor guys. <laughs> oh, this looks pretty creepy. <laughs> okay, again, get rid of the weapon and get the hell out of here. It was an accident, of course, or self-defense, I'm not sure. And I think this is a great place where to stop this video, and I will visit the second deck in the next video, sometimes in the near future. So let me know in, down in the comment section what do you think about uh, this new type of videos. Is this something uh, which is interesting for you? So if you would like to see something like that, let me know. Thank you very much for watching and bye for now.